Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this card, I am featuring some of the new Lawn Fawn products from their summer release. To start with, I am going to ink blend on some paper with Distress Oxides in Squeezed Lemonade, Mowed Lawn, Lucky Clover, and finally Rustic Wilderness. If you watched my last Lawn Fawn video, you will know how I did my last ink blended panel for leaves. And it was just the yellows and the greens here and there all over the paper until every part of the paper was covered with ink. I didn't go in and try to make the blends seamless or very smooth. So darker spots, lighter spots, that's all good. It'll just add variation to the die cut pieces that I cut out of this paper. Once I have finished covering the entire paper in ink, I am taking the different colors of Distress Oxides, smushing them on my stamp block, watering it down, and then I'm going to splatter the whole paper. This will just add further texture to my leaves. While my panel is drying, I am going to stamp the toucans from this Toucan Do It stamp set from Lawn Fawn. I thought about using other critters in this because I actually love all of them, but the toucans are my favorite. So I take my Nina Classic Crest Solar White Paper and my Copic Friendly Alcohol ink and I am stamping each of the toucans one time on my paper. For the coloring, you will see I use a lot of colors, even though these images are very small. I looked up different pictures of the toucans, and I liked the more colorful ones a little bit better. So, for my blue color combination, I am using B00, B01, and B02. For the greens, I am using YG quadruple zero, YG01, and YG03. My yellows are Y00 and Y11. My oranges are YR02, YR04, and YR07. My reds are R24 and R27. And last but not least, my grays are C3, C5, and C8. Like I said, this is a lot of colors for such a tiny image. Now, I probably didn't really have to use three colors, or I should say three markers for each color combination, I have just gotten into a habit of pulling three colors usually. The two cans that I liked had a little bit of an orange spot on their beaks as well as a blue spot, a red tip, 
and I don't know why I'm saying spot. It's actually like lines, sections, I don't know. You'll see on the screen how I'm coloring them. They all had a slight difference in their appearance. I just loved the very tropical colors. They also have blue feet, which I think is fascinating. Um, I know there's another bird that has blue feet too, but I just think it's cool. Anyway, I am using three colors on these and if you can tell, it's not really looking like there's three colors. If you want to do this, you could really go with the maybe lightest and middle color or middle and darkest. It's your choice. I think the YR02 kind of got covered up more and you didn't really see it as much. Probably the same with the lightest blue shade. So the green or the yellow green took up most of the beak. I did kind of leave a little section at the very top of the beak that was the lightest green. So I think that's the only really light color in my three color blends that does still show up in the card. Something else I liked about these birds is, depending on which picture you look at, some of them have a little bit of a blue color around their eye, and some of them have a little bit of a green color around their eye. So I chose to make one of each for my little toucans. And for these birds also, they have a bit of red feathers right around the yellow part at the bottom, and they also have some on their tail feathers. When I started coloring this, I was kind of worried that it was going to look like they were bloody or something. And in the end, I guess they're so colorful, it doesn't really look like that. But it was very jarring, I guess, for me when I first started coloring it and there wasn't any other color around it. If you have watched any of my previous videos where I am coloring images in, you will know that I usually go lightest to darkest, back to lightest with my coloring. This is just to ensure that I'm placing my shadows where I want to, I am leaving enough light space, and it gives a pretty good saturation on the paper, which makes the colors blend even better. Something I do with almost all of my critters who have open eyes is I take my black glaze pen and I just dot the eyes. This just helps them stand out a little bit more from the rest of the image. Something else I decided to do was pull out my white jelly roll pen in size 8 and make little highlights or shine marks right on the top of each beak. Now that my green panel is dry, I am going to take this Lawn Fawn Tropical Leaves Backdrop die set and I am going to cut out the backdrop. This will be the frame for my card. My cutting plates on my die cutting machine really need to be switched out. They are very worn out. I will suggest with the intricate die like this especially, you make sure that your cutting plates are good. You can also add a paper shim or buy one of those metal shims. I'm taking this white sheet of cardstock, laying my frame down on it, and marking where the frame sits. This will help me figure out where I need to blend my clouds. To do this, I am taking a cloud stencil and my tumbled glass distress oxide ink and I am blending off of the cloud stencil all the way up until I reach the end of my pencil lines. And for this I really should have taped down my paper. I didn't do this because I honestly forgot I'm used to blending on a silicone mat and the silicone kind of grips your paper so you don't really have to hold it as much. As I am inking up the clouds on this panel, I am twisting and turning the stencil just a little bit so that not all the clouds look exactly the same going all the way up. The last bit of stenciling I do, which you'll see in a moment, I end up not liking, but it doesn't really matter because my frame will cover that area. To cut my cloud paper, I am using a rectangle from the Hero Arts Infinity Rectangle Die Set. This is slightly smaller than my frame. That way I don't have to worry about lining it up exactly right. It'll just fit behind it. I'm also going to take some white cardstock and cut out the tiny little flowers from that same Tropical Leaves Backdrop set from Lawn Fawn. I ran the die through 
twice, so I have six flowers in total. To add color to these flowers, I am going to bring out my Distress Oxide in Kitsch Flamingo, and I am going to ink them up using a little finger dauber. All I'm really doing is pouncing the inked finger dauber on top of each flower. To color in the little centers, I'm using my Y11 Copic marker. This ended up being a little bit fiddly since the pieces are so small. Once everything has been colored in and the flowers have a little bit of time to dry, I am now gluing the centers of the flowers in place. Next I pull out my Big Thanks die from Simon Says Stamp. I am going to ink blend some Kitsch Flamingo Distress Oxide ink on some paper, just enough to fit that Big Thanks die on top of, just like that. I was actually able to cut that die out of that paper three times. I am stacking the best pink blended piece on top and the other two will be underneath. The color here doesn't matter a ton, you really shouldn't be able to see it anyway. But I'm gluing them together and this will create a little bit of dimension for my sentiment. Here I'm laying everything out and getting a sense of where I want all the flowers and the different parts of my card. And you will see I have six flowers here. At the end, I do not have six flowers. I only have five. Something spilled on one of the flowers ruining it, so I couldn't use it. It wasn't important enough for me to make another one. Here I'm gluing my frame onto my sky background. And then this happens. <laughs> this is what happens when you have too much stuff on too small of a workspace. My sweet husband ended up cleaning up that mess for me. I was fairly irritated. That's why one of my flowers got messed up because it actually knocked my drink over. What I was doing here was laying my stuff out in my stamp positioner to try to figure out where to place the stamped sentiment that I had planned for my card. I decided I would heat emboss my sentiment, so I am using my anti-static powder tool to ensure that no embossing powder sticks where I don't want it to. I'm using my Versamark ink to ink my sentiment, and then I am taking this green embossing powder from Ranger. It's actually called green. I did have some stray embossing powder around my sentiment, so to fix this I tried to take a little paintbrush and dust it away. In the process, I did manage to remove a little bit of the embossing powder I wanted to keep, so I just reapplied it. While I was doing this, I also noticed one of the letters in the word appreciation is a little bit splotchy. To fix this, I tried to take a green pencil, as I don't have any green gel pens, and kind of fill in that area. I'm not really sure that it did much, but I tried. <laughs> now that that's done, I am going to attach the panel onto my card base. The reason I didn't do it the other way around is because I didn't want any embossing powder getting stuck to the glue that I am using to adhere the panel to the card base. I set my stamp positioner on top of my card for a few moments while the glue was drying to ensure that it stayed flat. 
I then am gluing my sentiment onto my panel. After that, I'm going to glue on the rest of the little elements, such as the toucans and my little flowers. To adhere my toucans, I did use some foam tape. I wanted the little sitting toucan to be on the T in thanks, and because I added several layers of paper for that die cut, I needed a little bit of height to my bird. On the bottom where his feet are, I did use liquid glue to attach it to the T. And since I had one toucan popped up, I just popped up the other one so they both looked the same, or similar enough not to draw attention to it in a weird way. For my flowers, I am just doing tiny dots of glue to adhere them to my panel. I'm not worrying about each of the petals being glued flat to the panel, so I'm just doing one little dot of glue and placing the flower in the center of it. And now my card is complete. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video soon. Bye!